My Eurythmix Purpurus. The meat ant. Six months in. As you can see, I've got their singular nest. This is from Oz Ants. This is an acrylic nest. It's getting pretty full in there. So I decided to mix it up a bit and I got an Ants Canada. This is a Caponotus Ants Canada nest. And I'm getting ready to attach it because they're getting pretty rowdy in that outworld. I don't want them to be nesting in that outworld. So let's see. Seven months in, one month later, about a hundred more ants have been born. And here we have it. So this is their nest. There's less ants, but there's more eggs. Where are all the ants? Here are all the ants. The outworld's still not put together due to life reasons and complications. As you can see, look at them, how they're fiddling around with their young. What are they doing out there? Are my fears correct? Have they decided to make an out world nest? Oh God. And I stumbled across this. See? See the construction? They're pulling dirt out and putting eggs and larvae and pupae in. As soon as I saw this, I know it was too late. Nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to attach a nest and just hope that they move everything into that nest. And this is um, one reason why you have to stay on top of your ants all the time. It's good to make sure that they have the right amount of space in their nests or else it'll just turn your outworld that you have into a nest. So this is a bit of experience that I've gone through and I want to share it with you guys and show you my experience of just being a bit slow and lazy and what happens when you do that. Uh, look at them. Oh. Don't, don't look inside here. This is our new nest. Trying to block my vision. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.